Hi, I'm Nipa. I'm a professional fisherman on the Hawkesbury. I'm a Māori method fisher. I catch prawns, eels, fish. I do all different things to so different times of the year and different times of the moon. So it's a good lifestyle. I always run into somebody. So you're always having a yarn or you might pull up and go for a quick water ski or a wakeboard. But it's good because you're only boss, so you just do what you want to do whenever you want to do it. The winter time, the prawn stops, so I go catch eels. So we get up, we run up the river to where the traps are, then we'll pull the trap in, drop the eels into the blue bucket, and then I'll go through the eels and sort them out. If there's some small ones, I'll throw them back in the river. And then we'll bait the trap. I use pilchards, which is just what you can buy from the service station. Tie it back up and then we'll go reset the trap. Check the traps once a day. Kind of go most days. Depends what I've got going on. Eel trapping's a commercial fishery, so only commercial fishermen are allowed to be in that fishery. The eel traps are selective fishing, so you've got a ring on the trap. That's to stop the turtles and the platypus. So you don't get them. You don't get fin fish because the mouth's that tight that the fin fish can't push their way in, whereas an eel will hook its tail through and rip itself in. They swim from here to the coral sea, they reckon, and that's where they spawn. That little eel knows what's going on. He's got like a little GPS in his head. Then he'll swim back to mum and dad where they lived. So whether the mum and dad lived in a dam, that eel's goal is to get to that dam and live where its mum and dad come from. I catch them for the export market and the city domestic market. So I'll run them around Sydney to like Chinatown and that, or I'll export them overseas using an export approved facility. I use social media to sell a bit of my catch, like TikTok, Instagram, Facey. People will message you, hey, can I buy some prawns? Or hey, can I buy some eels? Or where would I buy this? And you might put them direct to a store that you actually sell to. With the eels, we've got a statewide quota. So I own a share of the quota. That means I can't catch heaps. I just catch what I own. Yeah, it's very niche, like there's only so many licenses out there. So you've got to wait for somebody to get out before you can get in. They don't just make any new ones. I nag people to go fishing and I'd be like, hey, can I go? And it's called a tucker run. They feed you and you go work for free. Yeah, you just got to nag people. Honestly, just keep asking and asking and asking and someone will eventually cave and take that. Oh, I just love the Hawkesbury because there's like, it's a beautiful river valley and it's a really nice place to work. This was my dream job. Like who would have thought you can live upstream away from the ocean and go and make a living out of commercial fishing? So I'm pretty lucky.